So Google is a customer of us almost from the beginning. And basically, they were kind enough to pilot uh, an engagement with us for a few months. And basically, uh, we saw along the way that the value that they get is, is, is good. And we, tr and, and we basically work hard to get more and more product from Google. And basically, we learned along the way that Google has, again, the same problem that any startup has. They have performance issues in terms of how to scale how to scale the functionality, how to scale into different markets, uh, how to scale in terms of people. Like money is not an issue, you can think, but, but obviously budget exists, and they cannot uh, have unlimited uh, team size. So basically, they didn't have enough people to test, which means they roll out things that, that weren't tested. And, and obviously, the more mature company you are, uh, the more problematic it becomes when you have deployment issues and, and bugs and people tweet about it and people uh, write about it in Facebook and basically your brand uh, kind of suffer out of that. So the tech exec execs at, at Google basically wanted to scale the testing capabilities via U-Test. And basically what we did, we built a team from them that, that on an ongoing basis, almost on a daily basis, tested their product. And as, we, as, as they tested with us, we learned what the type of testing they, they would like to achieve and who is the right tester for a Google product, from which country this tester should come from, what kind of environment he should run. Um, and, 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 and basically, we have the right parameters per product uh, to know how to come up with the right team for Google. And we do that for every customer, and we do that we scale that via, via, via our product that basically has a lot of IP around, around this matching algorithm. Um, so the end result is that basically Google tests more than 15 applications with us across various spaces, uh, web, mobile, voice. Um, every product here is, is, is strategic to Google. So, and, and we work very, very closely with, with, with the Google Teams in order to ensure that the value that the tester provides on an ongoing basis uh, remains high. And we, we got to the point that we even have U-Test employees sit at, at the Google uh, offices in order to ensure and manage the crowd for the Google team. So, so, so from, from Google perspective, they manage today internal team, they manage today their internal beta programs, and we manage from them the next layer of the crowd. And for every layer, they get a substantial amount of information that, at the end of the day, improves the product significantly. That's an interesting uh, project that we did from them. So when, when Google Chrome was first launched, basically, they needed to check across thousands of URLs how the new WebKit engine, how, like the way the HTML renders on, on, on the browser to ensure that they don't have any compatibility issue. Obviously, you launch a new browser, you want to make sure that at least the first most popular uh, uh, website uh, works correctly or shows correctly on the browser. And basically, we, we tested for them a substantial amount of URLs. So we built a team of about 30, 30 testers from across the world. And each one of them got a long list of URLs that they needed to access see the rendering, report any issue that they saw, and we took all that information and aggregated using our product. At the end of the day, as the product manager of, uh, of, of Google Chrome, I had a very good visibility of where is my problematic spots and why I have those issues. And at the end of that process, basically, they fixed a few of the rendering issues and launched in a, in, with a better product, basically. And in terms of of the financial ROI, you see that because of the on-demand nature of the business, it's pretty cheap. So you, you can hire 30 testers for, for a few weeks, and basically the price per issue is very low, and is, is so low when you identify it before you deploy that I'm sure that they were very successful, or I know that they were very, very happy from the results. And another thing that we see is, is the speed of of the deliverables. So a lot of our customers will, they are agile uh, companies, they develop, they have their weekly uh, uh, scan deliverables, they develop until Thursday or Friday, 
on Friday they will open a test cycle, go, go away for the weekend, come back at Monday morning and have a, a, a bug list ready for them or an executable of, of test cases that basically it's actionable to them. So they, they feel like every hour counts in terms of, of, of quality. And with an internal team, you cannot have them work 24-7 forever, right? Even if you're a startup. Uh, so so that's, that's the powerful thing about getting a lot of people on demand and really focus them on, 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 on what you need uh, to test at a given point in time. Um, OK, so how exactly it works? So we kind of touched that. But basically, as a customer, and, and I will show it in a second, as a customer, you define your testing needs. And it can be, it's a functional testing of a mobile application, and it's my second generation of my application, and I want to focus on this specific uh, um, function of, of the app. The app runs only on the iOS 3.0 and, and above, and I need testers from United States, Canada, and the UK. So that, that's an example of, uh, of, uh, of, of testing parameters. Basically, we'll go into, the, into our uh, matching algorithm and try to find the, the best testers for you. Um, once you activate a test cycle, it means, it means that testing can be done. The build is ready for them. And basically, they start their activities. Usually, in a matter of minutes, you start getting a feedback. Like obviously, it depends on the complexity of the app, but they know. Like from the tester perspective, it's kind of a competition. Obviously, they want to be the first that found the issues, the more complex issues. Um, so results come fast. As a customer, you review the results. And it's a very important aspect of the marketplace because every deliverable that, 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 that we put in our platform, you need to validate. And it's important to us because we use that validation in order to grade the tester. So if we see a tester that across the board is issues are being rejected by too many customers, the, the guy will probably not get another, another job in the future. Um, and this is the way we kind of know who is a gold tester, who is a silver tester, etc., etc. So this is our web app. We also have a, an iOS application. But basically, you see that uh, we have two main entities in, 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 in in this platform. One is a test cycle that, again, drives what, what needs to be tested. And, and the second are bugs and test cases. Th those are the deliverables from the community. And basically, on the test cycle level, I can define what I want to be tested. So in this example, it's an iPhone application. So I, I will define what the product does. I will scope exactly what needs to be tested. In this example, it's a it, it's a simple example. Um, I will define what's my coverage that I want to achieve in terms of environment parameters. Um, tester selection. So our goal as a marketplace is to get to the point that you have a core team of favorite tester that basically go with you from one test cycle to another. And we, we like that approach because the learning curve that, that that needs to be done in the first and second test cycles, basically pay the price along the way, and you're getting testers that really knows your application. And today, we're getting to the point that the tester knows so well the customer application that in many cases, the customer will contact them to consult about specific things, maybe consult about the next generation of the product, specific features, because they feel the knowledge that the tester gained throughout the testing is valuable. It's like an internal guy that that you manage and, and um, get a lot of, of, of insight about your, your product. Uh, so at any given product, basically, we have a group of favorite tester. I can, I can click on a tester name and get some information about him. Um, so I can add him to my to, like This is my favorite tester, for example, or one of my favorites. I see that he's a rated tester, which means he's in the fourth tier. So if, if you look at the community, it's like a pyramid. At the top of the pyramid, we have the gold testers, then silver, then bronze, uh, then rated, and then a bunch of other parameters that, that speaks about newbies. So this guy is proved to be probably a positive tester, but he yet 
done enough job in order to go into the, into the top level. And obviously, being, being on the top level affects a lot of things. It affects how many projects you will get, what's the ma like how much money you will make. And, and, and we're getting to the point that today, our gold testers, it's almost a full-time full job for them. They're making thousands of thousands of dollars in, like a month. Some make more than I do, for example. Um, and, and our goal as marketplace is to ensure that we have all, all the time movement from newbies, from fresh blood, into the group of, of, of the tiers. Um, obviously, the bigger company we, we are and the more customer base we, um, we have and we test more and more applications, we need more and more testers. This is where the balance comes in play. Um, so in this case, the test cycle is active. I, I, I can see, by the way, some reports. This is some of it of what's going on with the test cycle. Um, so if you are the testing manager for the Met Office, for example, and I want to see if I have issues per environment, or if I have showstoppers, or if I have issues that related to country specific or browser specific, uh, then I can see that via the report. I will jump into the, into the bug level. Basically, this is my, my bug list. I can see that, for example, this is a showstopper bug. And this is where I'll get all the bug information. At this point, it's a pretty standard bug entity, like you probably saw a lot of it in your uh, testing lifetime. Um, this one is a very simple uh, example, but basically the, we incentivize the tester to provide as much information as possible. They need, they, we recommend them always to upload attachments. So in many cases, they will have a video capturing of the issue or at least a screen capturing of the issue, any log file that, that would help the developer understand the issue. Uh, you can communicate with the tester. So basically, uh, you have a testing, um, like this messenger that basically allow you to ask for more information, uh, anything that will help you reproduce the issue. Um, and, and, and basically, this is how you resolve the bug. You can approve it, which means for us, the guy, like these testers just earn a point, and the, that point, from our perspective, has a lot of parameters. So we know it's a GUI bug, for example, and we know what's the type of application, and we know what's the type of testing. So it will get a point that is good, that, that, that is good in finding GUI issues on mobile applications in North America, for example. Um, or if you, if you choose to reject it for, for, for every reason, then it will have a minus point, basically. And you can say, uh, from my perspective, it's not a bug because it's a, I don't know, it's a duplicate or it's work as design. And we will handle that with the tester. Uh, you can have a forums on the test cycle level. So if you want to communicate one to many to all my testing group and tell them, hey, guys, I forgot to do that, or please focus on that now, then that, that's another mechanism. Uh, you, can, you can shift the test cycle scope along the way, because we see uh, during the test cycle lifetime that, for example, we find a lot of issues in component A, but the customer feels like that now he wants to focus on component B. So you can shift the focus during the, the test cycle or just open a new one. Uh, and, and, and the goal is really to get your feedback about, about all, the, all the data that you get out of the system because your feedback, again, is very, very important to the grading mechanism. 